Hello all. In this video, uh, we will be seeing hierarchy input. Uh, so suppose example, uh, so in opportunity, uh, we have uh, the revenue lines, right? So if we want to import, uh, uh, we can't import revenue line alone because uh, a parent record uh, like an opportunity is, is required. So in that case, uh, so we have uh, different ways. So first we will import the parent object and then the uh, we will get the ID of uh, parent object and then we will load uh, the child, ob child objects like revenue lines. We, we can load uh, by, by using opti ID or opti number. So the another way is uh, while importing the parent object itself, we will give a parent record reference to the child record. And then uh, once we submit the file, so it will automatically import. So uh, to import uh, we should go to import uh, management from, from the tools, right? And then <clears throat> click, uh, create import activity. And then give the, uh, uh import, uh, reference import name. So in this uh, example, I will be considering partner object. <clears throat> so for partner, uh, we have partner contacts as child object. So uh, what we are going to do now is, so we are creating partner record. So partner is a, uh, the, uh, the parent object and the child will be a partner contact. So similar concept can be uh, applied for all other uh, objects as well. Even even though if uh, if it, even if it is a custom object, and if it has custom child object relation, uh, <clears throat> custom child object or related object, so we can do the same same uh, method. So uh, so I'll name it partner input test. <clears throat> And select the parent object here. So we need to select only the parent object uh, from this objects list. Uh, partner. <clears throat> so our part, uh, our parent object is partner. <clears throat> so once we select uh, object, so we need to upload the um, file of partner. So here I will show the uh, partner file. So this is the partner uh, file. So where we give all the uh, mandatory columns and whatever uh, is required and, and then additional uh, additional columns. So I'm giving all, all, all the required uh, parameters if we have any custom attributes, just uh, place those values also. And the important uh, column here is while doing uh, uh, parent and child uh, records uh, together. So the important column is the company number or uh, in opportunity case, opportunity number. In account, party number. And if it is a custom object, then uh, the uh, the record number. So record number uh, we will have, right? So by default, custom objects will have one ID and one uh, number field generated. So if we give, <clears throat> if we provide uh, the value to this number fields, like company number or uh, party number or uh, record number for custom objects. So if we provide a value here, so it will take, system will take whatever we have provided. So otherwise, uh, it will generate automatically. 
and it will assign the assign a, a random number uh, in a series way okay so uh, we have uh, we have given this company number for partner so for partner there is one more case like uh, we have party number also but uh, for partner we should provide because company number is a key so we should provide a value to this company number not not for not partner number but in contact or uh, account so we can use party number okay so now partner import file preparation is completed so then then uh, we go with uh, partner contact which is a child object of partner so here here also we will pass all other uh, uh, fields and we need to link uh, this particular partner contact with partner right so so this we can do in two ways either we can provide partner party id but on creation we, we don't have a partner party id so that is the reason uh, this this number field uh, company number field are important so in every uh, child object or related object we we will have uh, this um, uh, this partner company number or uh, parent company number so so we can we can use uh, these fields and then we can uh, uh, we can reference okay so now we uh, so now we, uh, so instead of giving partner party id so we are giving partner company number uh, so that uh, because in the first file we are already providing this this uh, this same uh, partner number partner com company number so the same we are uh, referencing in child object also so the link is there and it will take automatically it will create the, uh, the records will be created under this particular uh, partner so now we go to system and uh, we need to select the uh, the file and once we select the parent file we can see import object hierarchy just click on this import object hierarchy so now we will get an option to select the child object or related objects it will take a moment um and it will it will display additional options so once we, once it is loaded it will come like this uh, so here it will display all the uh, child objects and including the any uh, re related objects if we create any uh, custom object custom child object or custom related object so that will also uh, list down here automatically so uh, so in addition to parent uh, object so we need to select uh, the child object so in this case we want only partner contact in in addition to a partner profile so i am going to select i am going to check uh, partner contact and then upload the file that we prepared partner contact so here uh, uh, so the the, the, the parent uh, uh, parent record num field is company number So once we upload that file, uh, click next. Then uh, rest of uh, so rest of the process is almost similar similar to normal import. So we um, so the first tab will be for at, uh, the parent object, and uh, if we have uh, additional child objects or related objects so that will come as a tabs here uh, so here we have only one tab for partner contact if we have more objects uh, so the next 
uh, in the next tabs, it will be available. So uh, sometimes uh, validate data will not be available uh, if we do uh, uh, hierarchy input, just ignore them. Uh, validate data is uh, enabled here. Uh, so if, if data looks correct, uh, ignore, but it is better, always better to validate data. So in this case, I'm sure, uh, so my data is correct. So I'm going and submitting the import job. So once uh, it is completed, so uh, So now we'll go to queue imports. So here we can see, uh, so we can see the import activity. And if we, uh, because it, it it contains the, it will create uh, one import job for uh, parent object and another for child object. So if we expand, we can see that. Here we can see that hierarchy. So even though we submitted at a time, so, but it is creating two separate jobs and we can see the individual statuses. Uh, first, the uh, import, the parent object will be imported first and then uh, the uh, child objects will uh, import sequentially. So we will wait for few minutes to complete uh, this uh, job and then we can verify. So we can see the parent uh, partner is already uh, uh, completed. So now we'll just click done. And then if we go to the child object, so it is preparing data for import. Uh, so, uh, so in this particular import, so it got completed with errors because, uh, so it is giving an, uh, so we will check what, what is that error. Okay. So in rejected, uh, user data file. If we go to error message column. So it says uh, you must assign one of the partner contact as prime primary contact. So our file is correct, but uh, so we need to pass uh, one more uh, one more field. Okay. So so we'll go to partner uh, and we'll include one more attribute. And to select the field, so we need to go to again the partner uh, contact object. So just search for partner and partner contact. So here we have primary contact indicator, primary flag. So we copy, we will copy this, we'll put here and we will give a uh, first one as a primary contact and all other as no. So we will save this file, we will change it uh, we will in, in, we will import one more record. So, uh, so while preparing the file, so um, if if some of records uh, didn't get loaded, so either we so we we need to load a separate uh, partner contact uh, import separately the, for child object only, and we can still use the company number, the old company number, uh, the old company number. So here I'm trying one more record, one more partner uh, record. And so this will be my new company number and all other details are same.
okay so now i'm i'm going to resubmit the import job So, so once we submit uh, the file again, so with the corrected data, uh, uh, so then the import will be completed and then uh, you can verify. Uh, so that's all about this session. Thank you. Yeah, so in this uh, import job, uh, this all the child records got loaded. Um, so now we'll just, if you see the parent file, so this is also uh, successful, but uh, there are some uh, 10 uh, blank lines also considered as uh, in the file, but the one which we are expecting, so that is loaded already. So this is also okay. And now we will verify uh, this record in system. So what we loaded is this one. And now we can see the partner record here. And the uh, the child object is partner contacts. So all these four records loaded successfully. And so same way, if we want to load anything else, so using this, uh, uh, using the key, company number key, or uh, any other uh, record number key. So we will, uh, we will map the child records, child object records, and then we will load together. 